Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. First COVID-19 and now Russia-Ukraine conflict has caused significant delays in the production and delivery of LCA Tejas fighter jets. The obvious question that might be running in your mind is that if Tejas is an indigenous fighter aircraft with engines from GE and radar from Israel, how come Russia-Ukraine conflict can affect production of LCA Tejas? It's because of the composites used heavily in the aircraft. Not only Tejas, but all aircrafts and rotorcrafts such as ALH, LCH, LUH makes heavy use of composites. The 90% of the surface area of LCA Tejas is made up of composite and 10% of surface area is metal. It is a matter of pride for every Indian that LCA's percentage deployment of composite is one of the highest among contemporary aircraft of its class anywhere in the world. Primary airframe components of the LCA Tejas like fin, rudder, wing spars and fairings, center fuselage and main landing gear components have been developed using this technology. Even the drop tanks of Tejas are made up of composite. This is the secret of Tejas lightweight and reduced radar cross section. The use of composite in LCA has resulted in 40% reduction in the part count, 50% reduction in the number of fasteners, 30% reduction in the assembly time when compared to a conventional metallic airframe. The usage of composite has led to overall weight reduction of about 20% in the airframe. The raw material used for the production of the composite, which is carbon fiber composites, are polymer resins and carbon fibers. Furthermore, resin types such as epoxy, phenolic fiber and fiber types such as carbon fiber, glass fiber and aramid fiber are in use. The usage of composites is both in military as well as commercial planes. While India has mastered the technology of developing the composite, it relies on Russia, Ukraine and its neighboring countries for supply of raw materials required to develop the composite. At present, India has no choice but to import because it is not self-reliant in the raw material of composite. The supply chain has been hit hard because of Russia-Ukraine war and hence it is impossible for India to immediately find alternative suppliers for composite or spare parts for the aircraft. In order to cut its dependence on foreign supplies, HL in 2021 had entered into a memorandum of understanding with Mishra Dhatu Nigam Limited, Mirani, to develop and produce composite raw materials. The usage of composites will only increase in the years to come. Some companies, such as Reliance Infrastructure, have taken initiatives to get into the composite manufacturing for supply of the aircraft. Reliance Infra is planning to make an initial investment of Rs 85 crore. It has collaborated with French aircraft company Dahe to get the technology. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.